Well, Gaffer, obviously a great win last weekend. You've had a week to reflect upon it. Um, seven goals, obviously a hat trick for for Manny Diaz or Um How was the mood in the dressing room after that one? No, very good. Uh, they were a really good training group, anyway. So I don't think we've we've had many weeks where we feel like the training has been um, disrupted or distorted in any way by results. But no, they was in great great spirits on um, on Monday. Uh, we was able to have a little bit of R and R time with them. Um, on Monday evening, so that was good to get the group together. Uh, and yeah, just really positive and didn't like the goals we conceded, but I don't think I ever will. So, um, but apart from that, it was, uh, yeah, it was some showing on Saturday. Somewhat of a busy week f- for the club. We'll touch on your coaching department, you know, Paul Wilson departing to go on and take any opportunity abroad. Adam Smith becoming, um, you know, joining the coaching staff as goalkeeping coach. Just your your thoughts on, on you know, all of that. Yeah, Paul did a brilliant job, really good. <clears throat> and um, we were delighted when uh, he told us of uh, the opportunity he had to go and further his, his career, his experience. I think it's a big life experience. Um, jump as well for him so all of those things will go um, very positively for him in his longevity of being a goalie coach I think um, I, I've known Adam a long time Adam and I went through a very traumatic um, experience uh, at one of our clubs that we worked together really great lad brilliant brilliant guy good company very knowledgeable um, and I don't I'm not sure what there is to see in football if Adam Smith hasn't seen it so he, he becomes, like Nicky, um, a real addition with his playing um, and now in, into his coaching career. And <clears throat> this club, excuse me, <clears throat> this club should be renowned for developing the next goalie coach, the next first team coach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, it's a really good start for him, and I'm really pleased that he's now got half half his feet in uh, my office. In other news, we'll touch on Kieran Wallace going to Tamworth on a short-term loan basis. Um, he's been fit for a few weeks. Um, what is the, the explanation behind that? No, just win-win for everyone. Kieran needs to um, um, now take that next jump into match fitness. We can't. Um, we haven't had the bodies to be able to coordinate um, reserve games all the time. So we needed to go out because, you know, Kieran's Kieran's got. Uh, um, a contract with us which is important he still will be trying to find his feet after his injury he'll be trying to force his way in we've had a pretty settled department uh, in central midfield so it's been difficult for him to to move in between them uh, and and it's important that everyone the footballing world knows that the qualities he has and and you know what he can still bring to future employers um, I think that's really important for someone in, in his 30s so I, I thought it was a win-win for everyone at the end of it if he's had a brilliant time and it furthers his performance especially in training then uh, we may have a player for us um, but worst case he's getting some game time and uh, he's getting a lot fitter and, and again he's putting himself out there in terms of the rest if your squad Darren Robinson is on national duty this weekend yep. um, Gary Medine came off early last week how was everyone else obviously two long term injuries as well and Jack Hunter and Joel Dixon yeah. still maintain yeah I think Gary will struggle for Saturday um, uh, which is a shame because it's uh, we thought we was making some really really positive strides with him physically um, but I don't think he'll make it uh, Charman hasn't trained as of yet so he'll be 50-50. Um, other than that, some of the low knees, we're waiting for um, confirmation on their availability still. But <clears throat> So there may be a couple of um, changes to the squad. Um, but yeah, it, w- it will look a, a different squad, I think, for Saturday. Competition changes. Has um, detail and um, analysis and preparation very much stayed the same going in this weekend? Yeah, yeah absolutely, I think. The level of professionalism is is high, um, and when you have to carry that out, I think if you do anyone a, a disservice by um, dropping those standards, I think you can maybe induce or encourage, um, you know, being a bit overconfident, complacent. Uh, so it, everything's been as normal. Uh, our debrief and analysis of the game Saturday was important to lock in some of the things we did. Um, but the big thing for us is that consistency now of 
of, of play. You know, you'd like to think that off the back of uh, last Saturday, Gray and Disharuve in particular and have been now back in form. Charman, I think, as I said previous, uh, prior to Saturday, I think he's on on the verge of really exploding. I thought he, he took a, a, a big step with his goal Saturday. I thought his performance levels second half were, were very good. Um, Sharon was excellent as always. So we may have started to see the start of that um, that form turning for some key key attacking players. So confidence will be high, especially in Manny. He was sensational, wasn't he? So he'll, uh, he'll, he'll definitely reap the benefits for those, those positive feelings. And just a word on the opposition, Brackley, um, unlucky in the playoffs over recent years in the National League North. Um, is it a tough challenge? Oh, that very, yeah, very. They've been very unfortunate, really. <clears throat> the consistency of their their level uh, of the, what they've um, attained in the last few years has been very strong. Very hard to repeat playoff campaigns or promotion campaigns, but they've they've managed to be there or thereabouts pretty much every year for the for the um, last few years so really tough really tough game some players in there I know very well from um, from my time in the football league Danny Newton was someone I signed out in non-league into league two the Stevenage manager so you know he's a good player Danny and you know very very effective but um, we have to be at our best but the biggest thing for us is is making sure that we we retain those standards you know really important that we get some consistency now in the form of the players um, in the form of the team, the consistency of performance of the team, I think that's objective number one.